Alrighty, here we go. Welcome everybody. GT Club round seven at Corner Park. Just at the end of qualifying here. Fando's taking out pole 107 flat. Very quick time. Fando has been the top of the table since the very start of this championship. So expect him to do very well tonight. Lieutenant Lama that came closest, just two tenths off there with Jack Meredith in third. He's been having a good run lately. Steve Duro consistent as always in fall to the 107.7. Alfonso Timmons, who I'm going to guess is Alfonso Rath. Let me know in chat if that is correct. Matt Double in sixth place. Marty Stig Marty. Jack Hallister in eighth. Lee Walker. Ben Simpson in tenth place. Then we've got Mark Trinery driving the Ford in eleventh place. This is good stuff for at Calder Park today. Bit of a hidden gem Australian track. You can see the Thunderdome just over to the left hand side there. Unfortunately it's not accessible. So I hope someone is actually working on a Thunderdome mod separately so we can use that. Out. So he did that seven flat on his second lap. Came close to beating it on his last one. Nonetheless, fantastic effort from Fando. Now let's check out Lama, his closest competitor. Again, first lap, 107.2 on an out lap. Ah, oh, something going on there. Alarm, you're going to have to explain that one, mate. To the stewards. Maybe Cobalt can help us out with this one. He's good with numbers. That looks like an outlap, mate. What's going on, Llama? 106, 1072 on your outlap. No sector one. Well, that, that's how you make a lap quicker. You just don't do sector one. G'day, meatbag. Alright, well I can't actually see the grid now, so we're going to miss the exact start. Oh no, here we go, that was just the wait time. We are good to go. We've got double heli course going on, just for... Just for fun, really. Let's see if I can get rid of this other one. Heli course size. Capacity to turn down low. Can I get rid of it? He's Fando, he's just too good. Absolutely too good. You got people skipping the first sector just to keep up with him. That's how good Fando is. Jack Meredith actually had a really good run last time. Was looking good for a podium at one stage. Let me see what he can do here. I think this is Wrath as well. This is Alfonso Wrath, if anyone knows. Surely there can't be two Alfonsos in the league. Oh, here we go. Lights are up. Let's check this out. How are we all going to do? I think Fando is going to have a ripper start here. Look for Jack Meredith to send it up the inside. Here we go. They're off. Looks like Juro's got the run on Jack Meredith. Timmons getting squeezed by Stigmati. Jack Meredith actually got up to second there for just the uh, just a quick second. The Lieutenant Lama has got it back. And Jack Meredith, oh, he's <laughs> gone into the tire barrier, but it was invisible. That's a classic Culver Park. Most are uh, custom skins, I believe. Cobalt, like this Qantas one here for Jack Meredith. Somehow out muscled his way past Lama. That invisible tyre barrier really helped him out there. Oh, look at this. Llama's gone all the way backwards. 
Bit of a hurry up there on Jack Meredith. Jeez, they're getting the elbows out early here. Timmons up to second. Runs Meredith off the track. Well, I'll see you, Jack. It was all or nothing for the first lap for him. Nice shaking everything up in the order. Yeah, already almost four seconds. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> there was a Nismo on the track. Oh, that looks like that ruined Marty's race. Sorry about that, Marty. Bit of a hazard there on the main straight. Oh, now Fando's out. Fando's out. He looks like he's lost all, all control. This will be a safety car for sure. All hell's broken loose. The rogue Nismo. Let's put everything into question here. We might be looking at a full restart. Sorry guys, Rogue Nismo. That was for Rogue Nismo. Yeah, big F meat bag. Big F. Alright, here we go. view you're going to get. If I go to broadcast camera, it's going to leave the Nismo on the grid. Caused <laughs> a bit of havoc there for you. Ah, it's not that wide. What are you talking about? Plenty of space to get around it. Plenty of space. So what would Jack Bloody Meredith going to do here? It was all or nothing on that first lap. Will he try something else here? Definitely, definitely could could get second. But this fella, he was the one who capitalised. We'll see. He's a little bit more cautious this time. We'll stay on board for Juro for this one, he's in a good spot here up the front. We'll swing around at the end, there we go, Nismo's in the pits, we're all good to go. Green, green, green. Oh, it looks like a jump start from Juro, he already timed it perfectly. I think he timed it perfectly. Fantastic, look at this, three wide. Two wide on the inside. Easy for Juro though, great start, <laughs> he must have guessed it perfectly. Oh, Fando again. I don't know if he's that. Did you know that's Juro going wide? Had no pull up going in there. Meredith, he's lost a spot. And it is Timmons again, who's got up to second place. So we can see he's an excellent start. Oh, look at this. Jeez, everyone's struggling with the Calder Park circuit. <laughs> Look at that. Who the bloody hell is that? Oh, it's Callister. Jack Callister and the Audi uh, Commodore. Looks like Stigmati getting through as well. Jeez, a lot to play for here, fellas. Looks like they're just settling down just enough at the moment. Fando by one second out the front. Timmons, he's looking good tonight. One second behind. Lieutenant Lama 1.3 behind. Jack Meredith, he's holding on in there. So he see who comes out of this train the best. He got a fancy Matt double, he's quick in anything. Ben Simpson doing an excellent job to be in sixth place, holding it steady on the start. Love the livery, red hold on livery there, fantastic. That's what Colour Holden should be. 
He's getting a bit of run here on uh, Matt Double. Matt Double, he's not super close to Meredith. What's going on? He should have a bit more pace than this. Force and Simpson the long way around, but he's got it easy. He's got it easy. Oh, well, maybe not so bloody easy. He takes it right back. Looks like they're letting each other through. This is general. No, definitely not anymore. Gentlemen's agreement's over now. Jack Meredith's actually getting a bit of overlap here as well on Lieutenant Lama. And he will have the inside for the first corner. He's just going to have to break early enough, and he does. Breaks very early. No, but it's Lama who breaks late. So look at that. Sensible move from Jack Meredith. Sends one of his rivals way off. Simpson now, he's done well just to get through there. Bit of a let off for Simpson. And double. Now Lama just keeps falling back. That's Stigmati through as well. Callister. Lee Walker with a bit of slide and Trenery. It's the Battle of the Beers back here, fellas. It's the Foster's International livery. It's fallen behind. It should be alright from that though. It should be alright. 2.3 seconds. That's nothing for a, for a spin. Timken's losing a little bit of time to Fando. But still one to two seconds. Enough time for a mistake to be made. Something to be gained. And Meredith, he'll try hanging in now as well. We'll see how he does it when he's in clean air. Got some quick lap times coming in. 107.9 for Simpson. Not quite as quick at times down the back of the pack. Yeah, Trenary's lost a good four or five seconds there. Hero's had a bit of a bit of a bad one. He's uh tenth place. Don't know what happened to him. Should be able to round up Walker here without too long. Now yeah, Louise double Simpson continuing their battle. few interesting situations going on here because you'd expect Juro to be a bit further up. So hopefully we will see quite a few overtakes. Lieutenant Lama as well since uh, fallen back. We'll see him make his way forward. Let's see these times. Matt Double on a quick one. Stig Marty are just a tenth behind. Steve Juro is on a charge. Fastest lap that time around. Of the, uh, the other contenders anyway. Timmons pulled in a little time on Fando. In this pack here, still got Lama. He's following Stigmati and double. Let's go on board, see what this V8 sounds like, eh?
Can you hear those V8s in chat? Let me know if it's uh, not loud enough. Gotta hear those engines. I'll pump it up anyway. He's just not letting him get away. He's right on his bumper here. Where's he supposed to overtake though? There's nowhere to overtake. Oh, check it out up ahead. Simpson on Meredith, this is what you want. this out. Red and white, I mean, it belongs on a Holden. They could be teammates. I don't think they are. He's gone for the sand. He's got the inside. Should have him easy. Yeah, Meredith ducks to the outside. Great move by Simpson. That'll put him on the podium. Oh, <laughs> Meredith wants it back. Don't bottle it, Jack. Don't bottle it. Alarms on an awesome lap. Hunting down Stig Marty. Hasn't been able to fully recover from the spin early on. There's a couple places just up ahead though. And with also Simpson and Meredith battling, pulls it into question. Some time to be gained here. Stig Marty's been looking strong though the whole series. Been really strong, really solid. Matt Double, despite not showing the ultimate pace, is hanging in there in fifth. And will be the first to capitalise on what's happening up, up here. Meredith isn't letting him get away.
Looks like Simpson's just got the edge now. He's getting away from him. And same with Stigmati and Lieutenant Lama. Looks like it's just hard to make up that ground once you lose it. Fairly difficult, looks like, to follow the other car ahead. So you've got to have a little something to work up to, a little, little pace in hand. Zuro still as well, hasn't been able to battle his way through. He's working his way up to Callister at the moment, from the Audi Commodore. And Lieutenant Lama dropping back here from Stigmati. Maybe a small mistake from Lieutenant Lama or just a couple of bad laps. That's just put him out of touching distance. It isn't what, what you want. Only seven laps remaining. You want to be making your way as close as you can. Get on that bumper. Which Stigmati's been trying to do with Matt Double. We'll see what eventuates. What's going on up here? Is this Timmins? Timmins has dropped back. It's Alfonso Timmins who has dropped back. He's put second place into play in the podium. These three drivers. 33 plus 33% chance of being on the podium. And Ben Simpson up to second and Timmons. He must be struggling, he's got some issues, whether it's fuel or what. There's no way he could lose that time and fall back behind these guys. He didn't even battle it. That's an early Christmas for Simpson and Meredith. Look at that, fantastic stuff. So what is up with Simmons here? Or Timmons? Man formerly known as Wrath. Oh, here we go. Stick Marty. He must have had a couple of bad laps or an off as well, because... Check it out. Guys have fuel problems or tyre problems or what's going on? A couple of hard luck stories here. Still good pace from these guys. Yeah, Stick Marty. Six seconds, six, seven seconds. Now Jack Meredith, he's got to get that podium today. He's got to do it, but Timmons is behind him. It's not the MX-5 Cup Challenge today. It's the V8 Brutes. Don't bottle it, Jack. Come on, mate. Trenary drive through for speeding. Hard luck story, there you go. Mark Trenary. Your luck couldn't get any harder than that. But he'll fight on, he will be back, that is for sure. Here we go, looks like Jack Meredith, he's just lost Timmons a bit. Jeez, still five laps. Not enough time to be complacent. The Juro is still able to get forward a little bit, but he's about four seconds behind Lieutenant Lama. Which would be a task to catch that up. Double's done well to hold off the charges from those behind him. Solid midfield place there. Looks like ever so slightly he just might be buying into this up ahead. Doesn't seem like it is over yet. Because Meredith's right on the back. Oh no, Timmons. Mate. Keep it together. It must be a tyre issue. He must be using the tyres. Jack Merritt is still giving it everything. Simpson should be able to hold out though, his pace looks good enough. Well, like Merritt is a flyer, 7-4. That is an absolute flyer by Jack Merritt. He's still got about 8 tenths to make up. So he's got to push, he's got to push now. One small mistake from Simpson will do it, but Simpson's 
and what a fantastic job to be in second place. Absolutely fantastic. Just getting that second now, Ben Simpson. Should be right. As long as he keeps it on the black stuff, he'll be right. Timmons as well, he's losing the ground. Whether it's tyre issues or he saved fuel or what's going on, bird flew in his bloody window. So he was sticking with, you know, Fando's pace for a while. Easily the second quickest driver. Just doesn't make any sense here. So something's gone wrong on the setup, I'm saying, on that one. He looks very slippy slidey. So tyres are a good bet. And Meredith as well. I wonder if his tyres are starting to go because he's getting 1.5 seconds now behind Simpson. Simpson doing very good to hold on to second place. Love the delivery, love the consistency, he's held in there, it's a, it's a, it's a good story. This is for Ben Simpson. Of course Fando, he always sets the car up so well, he's pretty much dominant in this type of car. Just another fantastic epic from it doesn't matter what track it's at. Just always looks planned, and let's watch the body language of this. Oh, it's actually a bit wide there, or maybe he's taking a double apex, who knows? Still looks pretty straight though. The car looks a little high, but it's a great effort to have this level of domination. We've got here Llama now on the back of double. Looked like Llama was all sort of out of it there. And the double would buy into the battle up the front, but check this out. Looks like Lieutenant Lama's got a bit of speed. Again, though, with only two laps, we've seen how difficult it is to overtake. He's trying to get the run. Simpson quicker than Meredith on that lap, he should be able to hold it. Timmons in fourth, very similar pace to Meredith, he must be saving. Or struggling. There can always be little gremlins that pop up, but it certainly seems like it's a tyre wear issue. Lieutenant Lama, he's got a lap to get it done. Double's been consistent though, he's kept on in there. Doesn't look like double struggling, he should be able to hold on to it for now. Fando will take the win though, a dominant performance. Another win in the GT Club V8 Ute Series. Excellent drive from Poppy. Ben Simpson, what an effort to be second place in the hold on Commodore. Couldn't ask for a better story than that. Jack Meredith gets his podium. It's a good battle for second, you'll probably wish for more, but he's got it there and gets a bit of a love tap from Timmons, who unfortunately should have been second. He had the pace for it. He couldn't match Fando, he should have been second, he just dropped off at the end there. Love to find out what that issue was. Double in fifth, excellent, excellent job for that. Just held in there, excellent, probably the most consistent person there. Lieutenant Lama slipped back at the start, but he was able to still keep a battle on. Drew in seventh, did get a few more places, but again, had some issues at the start and was really struggling then. It's an uphill battle once you got that long of a race. Jack Callister, eighth place, he did alright as well, just a couple little moments there. Otherwise, I think he would have been further up the grid. 
Stigmart is well ninth place. We were expecting better from him based on his quality. Lee Walker in 10th and Mark Trenary. Just a bit of a hard luck story there in 11th place. Fantastic effort, guys. Now let's just see what we can find underneath this, this Pursuit Ford Ute here. Where is the secret source? Can't quite see anything today. Maybe another day we'll be able to find it. What makes it so special? Maybe it's what's playing on the radio. Yeah, can't see that either, mate. Alright. Fantastic effort. On a classic Aussie track. Hope you guys enjoyed. Calder Park. Absolutely fantastic. I wish the Thunderdome existed as well. I don't know what the free cam button is. Sorry, but No, we don't want to touch the Nismo. Don't want to touch the Nismo. Take the Nismo on the Thunderdome? Yeah, I would. I would. I would take the Nismo on the Thunderdome. But uh, it's not in this mod. Although I probably think the, the V8 Brits would be a bit more fun around the Thunderdome than the Nismo. Oh, hold on. Hold on, fellas. I do believe we've got a reverse grid top 18 so it should be the whole field we'll see reversed Fando will have his work cut out for him
It's not Mazda Remix 5, it's GT Club at Calder Park. Round 7, let's get some Mount Franklin bottles in chat, please. Hope you're thirsty for some V8 brute action. So here we go, it's reverse grid, Lee Walker off the front row. In the VB Commodore. Nismo's off the grid, that's good. Alright, here we go. Great jump from Stigmati on the outside. Good second phase. Looks like Juro's the one who's got the whole shot off the second row. Closes it in. Caster, not a very good run from him. Lieutenant Lama moves to the outside. Looks like Timmons. He's done to try and make it three wide. Oh, Timmons backs out of it. Bit of bumps from Meredith. Damn, Meredith just pulls back. Stigmati keeps second place. Now Lama's going to have to go around the outside of Juro here. Oh, but he couldn't do it. Squeezed out wide, he'll fall in. Timmons should have the run. It's fifth place there for Lama. So good start for Lee Walker and Stigmati. Matt Double though, oh, he's off. I just missed that. What happened to him? Dublay. Oh, thanks, Meatbag. Cheers, mate. All right, the VB Commodore. Oh, a huge send. What was that? Timmons and Meredith. Absolutely crazy. That little coming together at the end of the race, Mark. Thought it was all in good fun. Oh, look at this Stigmati easily out of the corner. Fantastic run there. Now, I'm not sure what's going on with these blokes. Oh, fellas, fellas. There was a rocket going off in the background. I couldn't tell you exactly what happened. So we will assign blame to no one today. Stigmati. Great launch, although look at this, Lee walk around the outside, Juro's going to sneak up on him as well. Actually unsettled the car there for Stigmati. These guys won't have it easy. Lieutenant Lama's looking pacey as well, just behind Juro, and that's Fando. He's found his way through the back of the grid. Bit of carnage as well, but look at this. You'd fancy him from here. If anyone's going to get the overtaken done, it's him. Juro looks like he's going out the inside. He is on Lee Walker. Oh, but he's, he's offed it. Couldn't quite get the thing turned in. Oh, where's he going to rejoin here? Oh, just in front of Callister. Callister will get the run though. And so does Ben Simpson. Ben Simpson gives Callister a little run. He's actually going off the track. Hard luck story indeed. Matt Dublay, he's not too far off now with a bit of action up ahead. Ben Simpson quickest that lap. I don't think Stigmati's going to be able to get away here, though Lee Walker keeps doing that. Look at that Fando. Third place now already Fando. Gee, that's quick mate. That is quick. He's a real threat to win this one as well. We're only on the third lap. Can anyone put an end to his dominance? Juro, he would have had a great chance. That little moment at the back end of the circuit, that's put him straight back to 7th, that's where he finished last race. What's he going to do? And Meredith, there's a huge incident with Timmons, I don't know what happened there. He wouldn't have been in a great, uh, great position as well. Oh, look at that, this corner is causing trouble for people. Mad Meredith, he's off the track, he's going to give the position back. Oh no, what's he doing? Alright, there you go, he has let Timmons go. Lieutenant Lama's actually fallen back there. Oh, good. Now Juro's got the run on him. These guys again. A pair of hard luck stories, I tell ya. And Ben Simpson, fourth place. It's looking like similar to the first race. In terms of who's getting the short end of the stick. Ben Simpson, I reckon if he holds up in there, he can get on the podium again. So Lama struggling now. Got to be a setup, setup thing, something for tire pressures. It's Fando now. He's on the back of Lee Walker. Let's jump on board. This is the dominant Ford, the dominant car, the Fando Falcon. Max Flog represent. He's done well at every round. No one has come close to the to the speed and consistency Vando has with these V8s. 
see how hard Lee, Lee Walker makes it from him. There we go, true cockpit view for, for all those fans. These cars don't have bonnets. He's sticking his nose up there. I think he's going to have it pretty easily here. Again, he's, not, he's got a little bit of slide, but very stable. The fan, oh, very smooth. Look at those wheel motions. He's driving to the shops. Just so drastically different from most of these other drivers. They're just fanging these things around. Alright, let's ride on board. We'll see how long it takes him to catch up with Stick Marty. That will be for the lead. We just have to cut away from that because we've seen Timmins get past Lama. He's on a bit of a recharge since that incident down here a bit earlier on. Ah, Lama's fallen back, something going on there. Fando 7-2, fantastic lap, quicker than anyone. Still just under half a second below Stigmati. Oh, bit of a send here from Timmins. Looks like Juro just broke a little early. Can he get the run here? He's on his bumper, he's got to get that exit. I think Juro just pulls a little back on the exits. And Alfonso Timmins, very good under brakes. We have one the hold and one, one forward. Looks like a bit of a train start to form ahead as well. Lieutenant Lama just fallen back off because Meredith is getting into him. So Lieutenant Lama at definitely not the speed today. He would ha be hating this. Spando gets straight into the lead. Well, that didn't take him long. Get that half a second down. It's going to leave Stigmati vulnerable to Simpson now. Fando should blaze away with it. Simpson, can he put it through the inside here? He is, he's going to do it easily. Stigmati doesn't want to fight that one. I believe Walker will buy into it as well. But Fando on the 8th lap. Good stuff. Well, if you're a Fando fan, there's something going on with this Falcon that's just, it's planted. It's got some secret arrow or something going on. And it is hooked up. Oh, look at this Matt Double. Battling with Meredith. It's going to put Meredith in last place. It's no good after a podium in the last one. Oh, look at this train here. Not just Walker, but Callister as well is into this. Don't know what Fando's doing, holding these guys up for fun or what. Stig Marty getting Simpson back on the inside, up ahead. Should be enough room for both of them. It's the opposite of what we saw last lap, except Simpson is actually the hold around the outside. 
So Stigmati being very generous through the corners. Just leaving him vulnerable. Now Lee Walker. Oh. You think you get an advantage on someone, but it, all of a sudden you lose two places. That's what will happen here. But Callis is doing well. He's holding in there. Oh, what happened to Fando? Fando, mate, he's got to have a little bit. Oh, he's hit him back. So maybe a little bit of Rubbins racing between these two. How else would Simpson get past Fando with that little bump? you got to wonder. Timmons doing well again. Gotten past Walker. <laughs> he could be on for a podium here, Timmons. After a huge incident earlier on. Just looked like he just ploughed it straight into Meredith. There was no attempt to break, and so I don't know whether it was a wheel failure or what. We'll have to hear from the stewards afterwards, but... Simpson who leads at the moment. I've got to imagine Fandor will have another crack here. He's got the speed. The train, Fandor's re really getting away from him. Juro's going to have to stay, stay here for a while until it all sorts itself out. I mean, it looks enticing. Just about half race distance now. It's going to be the result of this. Stigmati's falling off the back of Fando. Fando and Simpson are flying out front. Check this out. Timmons, though, he's on a bit of a charge here. Can he get Callister? He should have the raw pace over him based on his race one and his qualifying performance. Fando just still sitting at half a second from Simpson. We'll check out the lap times as they come past the board. And here we go, Timmons, <laughs> it's Meredith in the background. He's actually trying to enter pit lane, I think, and I'm having a big drift. 7-5 from Stigma. He's actually picked up a good pace this time. If you can escape these two guys, he might be able to have a crack at those two up front, provided Simpson stays in front. We've got some copy Teds from David in chat. Shout out to Dave in chat. Oh, here we go. Juro, Lieutenant Lama. These are the two hard luck stories of the day. Juro's going to have to wait for a bit of a send, I think. Oh, they've both pushed a little bit too hard. Here's Lee Walker. I thought Timmons would be able to get away from him, but he hasn't. And Fando, he's lost a bit of time here. He's not able to pull in Simpson. Simpson with a fantastic time, 7-3. Maybe it's not locked and loaded for Fando. What's he going to do here? He's got a bit of a challenge from Simpson. Still got seven, eight laps to get it done, though. Here's Timmons, hasn't fully made his way towards Callister. Seen a lot of drivers struggle to overtake. Copy Ted. It 
it's ebbing and flowing, but he's gonna need a good, good run to make it stick here. I think it's the second race. Everyone's learned the track by now. Just less, less differential in pace. It's a great lap from Lieutenant Armour and Juro. Our two hard luck stories. Just a couple of tenths a lap though. He's gonna do much from here unless these guys are really getting into a battle. Oh. Wonder what Lee Walker's thinking. So he had a shot of being up there too. Good feel that sixth place isn't good enough for him today. But unfortunately, it just looks like the guys up ahead have got the raw pace. Look at that. Everyone's pushing it hard into that corner, but it sacrifices this corner and then sacrifices the run into the straight. I think they just got to keep it cool for that last section and get the run. They are able to overtake first turn on the inside. You can hang it around the outside. So you've got to set yourself up for this straight. Fando now, he's picked the pace up. This is more like it. 7 2. Another 7 4 from Lama. Got going on here. Timmons, he's trying to get the job. That's what you call it a hip of shoulder. He's getting it done. There's not much callus can do about it. Five and a half laps to go though, now's when you gotta make you send. Bit over three seconds from Stigmati, so it looks like a podium will be out of the question today for Timmons. He's putting up a good performance. Just showing some good racecraft here. Oh, 7 2 from Simpson. Fando is actually. Well. The commentator can't show any bias. So we'll just move on from that. Don't know if Callister will, will be able to have the reply crack at Timmons. Oh, Juro getting a bit slightly, like maybe a bit too eager. Seeing the traffic in front of him. The eyes go bigger than your head at, at those times. Oh, big slide though from Walker. He's going to leave him vulnerable. Lama should be able to have him up the inside. There you go. There's no defense. And there's that sort of overlap. We've seen that getting the switchback run is very difficult to be able to get that run down with the traction. So Fando not able, he's lost time here to Simpson. It's at a second now, that gap. Whatever Simpson's doing, it's working. It'd be fantastic to get a win for a Commodore, given the dominance of the Ford so far in the series. Ben Simpson doing a fantastic job. He's kept it steady. Doesn't look like Fando's given up though. Sending it into turn one there. It's Juro Walker, Lieutenant Lama. Callister. Timmons has got away from him. So it's a battle for fifth position at the moment. Callister leads the train, Lieutenant Lama just tucking behind. It's been a yo-yoing of sorts in terms of pace from these guys. Where's the setup and how that car behaves with the tyres? Oh, check it out, Lama. Into the side of Callister. He didn't have the braking performance. He's going to have to let Callister go on that one, and he does. Not a particularly valid move, that one. I mean, he'll lose out, go all the way to the back of the train. Gotta choose position. I'd be choosing turn one for sure to make my move. You just lose much more time. There's another corner. You sacrifice your run, so you're gonna lose on the guys ahead. It's split the train up now. Look at this. Juro's got a free pass of Walker now. 
puts the nose up, but he's not close enough there. We'll go to close it off. Here we have that for two and a half laps. Just giving it everything, Steve Juro. Let's jump on board with him. He's at V8. Final lap now, Ben Simpson still got that half a second gap to Fando. Stig Marty in a comfortable third, Timmons in fourth. But it's Lee Walker with the pressure on Juro on behind. Lieutenant Lama also within sending range of Matt Double for eighth place. The train has reformed, Callis to Double, Lieutenant Lama. Just not quite had the outright pace I think that they would have liked at this track. Maybe a bit of setup tweaking uh, to go for these guys. Just to find that little edge. Juro's had the pace at times, but now we need he's just fallen back from Walker. Bando sliding out of the last corner. He couldn't do it. Simpson with the win. Fantastic effort. And a hold on combo. Well done to Ben Simpson. First place in GT Club V8 Youth Series. Winner of round seven, Calder Park. He will be happy with that. Oh, Stig Marty, he's off. Did he cross the line in third place? And Timmons in fourth. He actually managed to get Lee Walker there in the end, I think. Catalyst to seventh. Matt Double and Lieutenant Lama in ninth place. There you go, fellas. Jack Meredith, unfortunate DNF there with a bit, oh well actually it's a couple of bottles a couple of bottles early on in the race so there you have it, excellent job Ben Simpson win for Holden what more could you want great display by these guys that's what you want in the British Ford vs Holden battle we wondered if we'd see some competition from Fando we found it in the form of Ben Bloody Simpson Timmons as well is looking quick. He should have been second quickest all day, but he got into the rough and tumble. Which is not what you want to do. Yeah, and a few hard luck stories out there as well today. Stig Marty, though, excellent job to get the podium in the third race. Really fantastic job. Just shows you just got to keep in it. Leave you here with Ben Simpson winning the race. What more could you want? Fando second, Stig Marty third, Timmons in fourth, Steve Juro fifth, Lee Walker sixth, Jack Hallister seventh, Matt Double in eighth, and Lieutenant Lama, the last of our finishes in ninth place. Fantastic effort, guys. Thanks for tuning into the GT Club V8 Ute Series. We'll be back 
next Friday night for round eight. Make sure you hit subscribe and tune in next week for another two awesome races. Catch you guys then.